Hey Capricorn, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. So, hey Capricorn, it's been a minute. How are you guys? Sending you all love, peace, blessings, and positive vibes, Capricorn. So this is your June collective reading. We're going to hop right in without further delay. Please keep in mind, Capricorn, that this reading is a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every single Capricorn, so please check the other placements in your natal chart, all right? Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, and when I say check the other placements in your natal chart, I'm referring to your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Those three major placements do play a factor in regards to astrology and tarot. I know a lot of people don't really realize the connection between astrology and tarot, but it matters. It definitely matters. They're very, they're very intertwined. All right, so what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. Oh, we got oppression, restriction, exhaustion, depression, depleted resources, feeling cut off, punishment or confinement. So Capricorn, who you mad at right now? <laughs> some of y'all may just be feeling some type of way right now, kind of in your feelings, low key um, in your head, Capricorn, because maybe a situation didn't work out the way that you thought maybe it would. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're tired of a situation that's really just been energetically draining for you. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know if it resonates with you, okay? We got to get to the bottom of this Capricorn. We do. <clears throat> oh, yeah. We got standstill. Spirit says alienation, a stalemate, stagnation, withholding, grinding to a halt, insensitivity, and mis mistrust. So you may be feeling kind of left out in the cold by somebody that you thought that you, you know, that you had a relationship with or you thought that was your divine counterpart and things were going to work out with this person. But it looks like um, either they ghosted you or you guys broke up, whatever the case may be, Capricorn. I am so sorry sending you guys so much love because when you've invested time and energy into someone and for them to just do like that, mm-mm, honey, no, we ain't doing it. But don't take it as a lost Capricorn. Take it as an experience. Because every situation that we go through in life is not always going to be pleasant. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't don't blame yourself for anything that you didn't do. Okay? If you know that you were only loving, kind, reciprocal energy in that situation, don't take it personal. We have the abysmal. Danger, insecurity, overwhelm, unpredictability, hazardous conditions, dark emotions, facing fear, and Courage. So Spirit says, in the you know, in the face of adversity, in the face of things going wrong, you know, for lack of better words, or a situation not working out, whatever the case may be, you feeling overwhelmed by insecurities or unpredictability of the person you've been dealing with or in a situation with. Spirit says, face, face your fear. Have the courage to face those dark emotions, those heavy emotions that come to the surface when we've been triggered by something someone has said or done. Maybe this person blocked you or ghosted you or just came at you real crazy, talked to you crazy, whatever the case may be, Capricorn. But no, trust in no. <laughs> We're in Saturn retrograde, baby. And guess what? Guess what? Saturn does not come to play, okay? Especially if you have, um, if your Uranus is an Aquarius, whoo, child. Okay, but Saturn is not played, and when it comes to Saturn retrograde, all of the good things and all of the bad things, <laughs> um, it's, it's gonna come back, it's gonna come back tenfold. Karma is real, karma is karmic debt is absolutely real. So just know that it gets better, okay? All right, spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oops. Let's see what we got here. All right. So, again, we get the Ace of Swords. This is about receiving clarity. This person may reach out to you to clear the air, Capricorn. They might. They might reach out to you. You might already have them blocked because you ain't hearing it. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this person knows that you're stable because this is definitely your energy. This is Earth energy, King of Pentacles. 
Um, you may not be focused on them anymore. Yeah, two of swords. You may have blocked this person because you put in a lot of time, effort, and energy. Yeah, you were in love with this person, Capricorn. Yeah, you had a lot of love for them. And then they just broke your heart. Five of cups. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. Spirit says to give yourself time to rest. With temperance, give yourself time to rest, rejuvenate, grieve the process, feel your emotions, but know that this too shall pass. This is not going to last forever. This is a moment in time. But it's perfectly normal for you to feel like crap and just not want to be bothered because this person, I feel like this person really took advantage of you in this situation, Capricorn, and I don't like it. Not man big. I do not like it. So, um, yeah, I don't like it at all. So, just, you know, take your time, Capricorn. Don't, don't feel pressured to answer. Don't feel pressured to make a move because guess what? We got the Ace of Cups here. <laughs> What I tell you, karma karma does not come to play. New love is definitely going to come around for you. Grieve the situation, heal, take the time to heal with this temperance card, but just know that new love is on the way for you. Spirit says currently focus on your happiness. This was a cycle that needed to complete itself. And sometimes we have to go through another karmic cycle of um, chaos and confusion, of conflicts and challenges in order for us to learn certain lessons, in order for us to heal. The moon is here. I feel like now, um, since you guys are separated from whomever this person is, if this is your story, if this resonates with you, now you're able to see things hindsight 2020, like why things didn't work out, maybe why you and this person kind of constantly um, didn't, you weren't on the same page or just had, you were both conflicted about certain aspects of the relationship that didn't work. Um, and maybe you had some hidden fears or some doubts in the back of your mind about this person Well, spirit saying now it's going to come to light. With the moon there may have been things this person was hiding from you capricorn but spirit saying um this cycle has closed itself out okay going forward you're going to be blessed with a situation that's going to be very very successful a possibly a family situation a committed situation yeah moving forward six of swords is going to be more peaceful six of swords look look at this and justice will be served justice will be served the scales will be balanced capricorn Page of Pentacles, somebody's going to come towards you and possibly make an offer or you may make an offer to someone that you have interest in. This person may be um, from a different place or maybe of a different ethnicity than you, Capricorn, or from a different background. But this could actually turn out to be very successful, okay? Um, so you win in the end. Capricorn, you win in the end regardless of how this piece of you-know-what treated you or whatever. Um, but Spirit says, don't give up. We have the King of Wands energy here. Do not give up. You know, the King of Wands is a leader. He's determined. He's disciplined. So keep going, Capricorn. No matter what goes on, keep going. Don't give up. All right. Let me ask Spirit for some advice for you guys. Hang on a second. Are we having a whole different deck ready for y'all and then can't find it? So. That's on me. Hang on. All right. So let's get some advice here for Capricorn. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. All right, Capricorn. What is the advice, Spirit, for Capricorn here in this situation? Um, also, it looks like your money is going to look really good, Capricorn. Once you start focusing on yourself and realize that this person may have been hiding certain things from you, because the moon is indicative of its Piscean energy. You could have been dealing with a Pisces or a fire sign, possibly a Leo. This person may have had some ulterior motives, I feel, with that moon. Um, they may have had an ulterior motive. This person may have saw that you were very abundant also with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, like you're you're very well established, Capricorn. And this person knew that. And I feel like this person may have played on your emotions as well. Especially if you're specifically we're dealing with a Leo. The spirit saying, um, that cycle has closed itself out. Justice will be served, the scales will be balanced. Summertime, okay. So within this summertime, Capricorn, you might meet somebody. Oh, yep, look, happy changes ahead. So if this resonates with you, this is your story, you definitely will be running into new love. You definitely will be meeting somebody new. 
Mm, there we go. Now I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, Spirit says, listen to your intuition. If you have any hesitations or doubts, trust me, Capricorn. I have learned this lesson within the past three to four years. Do not, do not, and I repeat, do not play with your spirit guides and your ancestors. Do not play with them. Do not test them. <laughs> Trust your intuition. God gave it to you for a reason. That gut feeling, that deep gut feeling, you have it for a reason. All right. So if this reading resonates with you and you would like to book a full personal in-depth reading with me to kind of go a little bit more to find out if there's a possibility of reconciling with this person, if this person may change, have a change of heart, change of mind, who the person who's coming towards you may actually be. Feel free to go to my website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. And until next time, love you guys.